so let's see about the materialized view so what is a materialized view materialized view it is a view which behaves like a table and it stores the results so why it is needed that it is needed because it helps in the faster execution of the frequently needed complicated queries so what is the good use case for the materialized view like if you have a complicated query and it takes a lot of time so what you can do you can create a materialized view using that particular complicated query and then you can run that materialized view again and again i mean you can query the materialized view again and again and it will be faster because it is making the execution faster because it stores the data and materialized view use the select statements on the refresh side materialized view get refreshed when you actually select it from it so there are certain commands or the ddl commands which can be done on the materialized view these are like create materialized view you can alter a materialized view you can drop you can describe a materialized view and you can show materialized views we will see it all in the demo as we move on further so insert update delete are not allowed on the materialized view a user should have create materialized view grant so suppose if you are a user and you want to create a materialized view there is a specific grant which is basically required to create the materialized view and that can be given by this particular statement a grant create materialized view on schema which schema you want to give to role to a particular role so since i am showing you the demo by the account admin you admin user and that is having already the access so let's see the demo so in order to show you the demo and show you the performance of a materialized view i will do some of the alter session here so what i am planning to do here i am planning to set the cached result as false so that the data does not get selected from the cached when you are actually selecting it so it will show you like how it is performing so let me do this in order to show you the demo what i will do i will create a table which is called customer underscore address and this i am taking it from the sample data of the snowflake so let me create this table and this takes around like 28 seconds so once 28 seconds are done, we will come back. So the table got created here and how much time it took? It took around 29 seconds. And now let's move on further. So what we will do, I have the table which is customer underscore address. And on this particular table, what I will do, I will create a complicated query which have some of the like average count analytical functions and some of the like group by functions min max sum count average so this type of functions i'm trying to add it in this query to make it little complicated and when i will run this particular query it takes approximately 35 seconds and then what we will do we will use this particular query in a materialized view and then understand if it is faster so let me show you how much time this particular query takes so it should take around 35 seconds so let me run it and then we will come back when it improves that it is running in that much time so this query is about to finish so it finished so it took around 32 seconds and it is showing you the data it is showing the ca address id num zips gmt offset and all other details now let's go and create a materialized view on this particular query and then we will see how much time our materialized view is taking and our materialized view should be faster compared to this direct select of this particular query which is a little complicated and have the analytical function so let me create a materialized view here materialized view also will take some time to get created and then we will come back so our materialized view is like create or replace materialized view mv underscore customer address and i am using the same query which i have executed here but if you pay a little more attention i am not using the count distinct ca zip here i am using the approx count distinct distinct ca zip as num zips because materialized view does not allow some of the functions to be used in the select queries that's why i have to comment out the count function because count is not allowed so i use the approx count and average count max min sum so there's a list of functions which are allowed in a materialized view you can go and check it so if you see here our materialized view got successfully created and so let's see and understand more here so now what i will do i will directly go and select it from the 
materialized view and then see how much time it will take it should come back in between 19 to 25 seconds versus 35 seconds above you have seen so let me just run it so our materialized view gave us the data in around 23 seconds which is faster compared to the 35 seconds which we have seen above so now we understood that what materialized view does like if you have a complicated query and you want that results very frequently what you can do you can create a materialized view and that way materialized view will store that analytical data or the complicated data in a form of a table and whenever you need it you can actually select it in a very faster way so the the let's see more details and let's see where exactly you can utilize it so one condition is like your underlying data should not be changing so frequently otherwise the materialized view have to refresh again and again and which can incur some cost so let's go back to the show materialized view because we recently created and understand what it is so when you run the show materialized view it shows you the name of the materialized view where the database schema and how many rows it has it has like 50 million rows how many bytes it is showing you all these details so a so few things you have to note it here is like the refreshed on what time it is refreshed on and then you have to see whether the materialized view is invalid or not and then you have to see behind by so behind by means like how much behind it is from your tables like when the data and then it has the text like what is the particular query and then another one is the is secure and we understand what exactly is the secure thing